Hey everybody, and welcome to another kind of tutorial for this channel. So my channel is uh, mostly for stats and psychology stuff, but one of the major things to happen to this channel is my tutorial on getting voice mod currently in May 2021 is still a Windows only program. Getting voice mod to work on my Mac to allow me to change my voice real time while I'm streaming using OBS, using Streamlabs OBS. And so here I have voice mod open. Here it is. Uh, this is the new look for voice mod. Um, and you can see that I have uh, these uh, keybinds, these hotkeys for how to change. Now, sorry, you can't really see them all that well because they're pretty long in their, uh, in their, you know, amount of keys. And that's just because I didn't want to accidentally change it by hitting another key. But here's their big problem with uh, using voice mod uh, while streaming because it's a fast paced thing. Um, you know, maybe you want to uh, change things on the fly. And so you have a stream deck. Here's my stream deck. Okay. You have things on the fly and you want to be able to have a folder. And here are the old icons for the stream deck, have a folder where you can easily turn voice mod on or off and then choose a voice in real time. And so on a Mac, because voice mod is only for windows, the stream deck plugin for voice mod doesn't actually work all that well. Um, and, and you can see here that I didn't even grab it. I think it would be down here in one of these places. I never, I never even picked it up because it's for Windows only. It's for Windows only Stream Deck. It doesn't work on the Stream Deck for Mac. But here you can see I have this. And if I choose one um, after I get this all said and done. Okay, so what I wanna do is I wanna show you how this works. So here I have all of my keys and I'm just going to have, I'm not gonna click on anything in voice mod. I'm just gonna show you, um, I'm gonna press it on my stream deck okay so let's do uh game over okay so let me go back to Streamlabs. so game over has got the saw face so if i click on my stream deck you're gonna see it change so i'm gonna press that button and there you go it's going to think about it for a little bit you know it's it'll you gotta give it time this is a the program being slow not the keybinds being slow right the keybinds worked immediately but <laughs> That's not that's not why it it went slow. And I could go back to Titan by pressing that and it will change it for me. Wow. OK, so how do we do this? What is the process? OK, so the first thing you want to do is when you have voice mod open in your um, virtual machine uh, right here, I have uh, Windows 10 open in parallels. Uh, see my other videos. I'll link them uh, in the uh, comment uh, in the description down below. And then I'll probably you'll likely see some cards over here in the top directing you to those. So. In this tutorial, we are going to go step by step on how to get from your voice mod in your uh, Mac OS virtual machine for Windows, whether that's Parallels, uh, VM Fusion, uh, you know, VM Box or whatever, Virtual Box, whatever it's called from uh, those other companies, and how you can just link that to your Stream Deck and have a single key. Great. See fewer notifications. <laughs> okay, great. Uh, and how we can link that to our stream deck. And so while we're messing around in Discord or on Twitch or whatever, you're on Mac, you can use this voice mod tutorial to help you out. All right, so first thing to do is set up your voice mod. Get your favorite voices that you want to use. So here you can see that I have my favorite voices here and set up keybinds for them. So all of my keybinds here are um, left shift control alt or technically um, how um, Windows is reading. Uh, Alt is actually the option key. So remember that. So I've got the three in the corner, shift control and option. Option gets read as alt and then a letter. And so you can see here game over is shift control alt D and then Titan here is shift control alt T. And so I just did those three corner, those three left corner uh, trigger buttons plus a letter on the keyboard. And that's how I set them all up here. OK, now the next step is to uh, grab a global hotkey program. Uh, I recently found this thanks to a bunch of people on the internet. Um, this is Quicksilver. Welcome to Quicksilver. It's a lightweight, fast, free application for improving your productivity uh, whilst on your Mac. So this is like just like auto hotkey on Windows, but maybe a little less, um, a little less comprehensive because uh, Macs do have limitations for global hotkeys and, and scripting and things like that. But for this particular uh, workaround, uh, for this particular application, it works wonderfully. So when you first open up, uh, when you first open up Quicksilver, it asks for permissions and all of that stuff. Um, and before I go any further into my triggers here, um, I, I, I set uh, it to um, start at login and show icon in menu bar as opposed to in the dock. Um, but you can do both. Uh, you can do both if you want to. 
Um, changing this requires a restart, of course, so just be aware of that. Uh, and so I would do that so you never forget, even if you are restarting your Mac as even as as um, infrequently as I do, uh, you can still have access uh, to your hotkeys and your triggers that you set up, especially you don't want to forget these triggers because this this whole setup does not work if you do not have Quicksilver starting at um, at the top at login. OK, so how will we set up going from these hotkeys to a single button press on your stream deck? Well, we got to set up a trigger and my trigger here. It's the only trigger I have set up so far uh, because I just uh, got this. I had to put a number of things, a um, number, num number of productivity things on the back burner as I finished this semester here. But um, this is one of the things that I recently did because I was really interested in whether or not I could get it to work. And as you may have noticed with the two other uh, voice mod tutorials on my channel, uh, people are really interested in whether or not I can get it to work. So those have exploded and um, much appreciated to those who have subscribed from that, um, from those two bits of tutorials, which are not necessarily the main aspect of my channel. So. Here we have the trigger. Um, I have it set to open Parallels Desktop. So how do we get from, uh, how do we get it to, to do this? We click on the plus key and um, we click on keyboard. And you can see here that that's the same exact thing as you see here. And so you can type any kind of action. So I'm going to do Parallels. So Parallels then, as you start typing it in, you can see that it gives you a ton of uh, options for things related to PAR. Now, of course, this is a fairly uh, intuitive search. And so it, it understands that you are looking for Parallels. Um, so one of the things that you want to look for is, OK, what am I what am I what do I want to do? What what is this thing? Well, you want to open parallels. And one of the things that um, if you can is just leave Windows 10 suspended when leave Windows suspended. So when you open up parallels, Windows is already open. Voice mods already open. It's ready to go. So this is what I chose. I chose um, to choose the desktop app. Now, the great thing about um, setting an application to open in Stream Deck or in um, Quicksilver here is that even if it's already open, hitting an open key just brings the app into focus, which means that any hotkeys associated with that app in focus or just hotkeys in general, then it'll just bring those in focus and you can use them right away. That's the important part here. Um, and so you would choose that, okay? And then you would do the open. And um, you would, so it says open parallels desktop after I do that, open, and then you would hit save. And this is where you would click the trigger. So you would click on that once you have it open, okay? And you can see my trigger here, should open this one, is, what is that? Control, option, command, backslash. So that's the backslash that has the post as a secondary key that sits above the return on the keyboard. So that's the backslash, not the forward slash with the question mark. Okay. So those are my settings. Activate on press or you can activate on the release of those keys. Of course, I act, once you put them all together, you can do that. You can always go back and change this by hitting edit and then it will be looking for recording. Um, you can also hold, uh, do a delay. And then this is the key thing. Display. Always show the window. Okay, so you want to keep that. I'm going to go ahead and remove this one. Whoop. So if we go back to this one, you can see that all I have is the shortcut for when I press that. So option, uh, com uh, control option, command or command control option, backslash. And I chose backslash because honestly, there's very few things that are related to that, right? So backslash. Okay, so that's the trigger. Okay, so we have a key bind for bringing the app into focus. We have keybinds and hotkeys set for our voices. Now, the final thing to do is set up Stream Deck. So I'm in a folder. Uh, please no laughing at my Stream Deck setup. It's probably not optimal, but you know, works for me. So I set up a folder, VM Voices. Okay. Um, like I said, uh, the the plugin for voice mod does not work on the Stream Deck. I tried it when I saw it. It does not work in Stream Deck for Mac. So you have to do this workaround, OK? So I set up uh, my folder here. So I have my voice mod on slash off functionality. This turns um, my main mic input in OBS off, and it turns the input from Parallels on, which, as you can see from here, is hear myself and voice changer. The hear myself needs to be on for that to work. I don't monitor it in. Uh, I don't monitor it in OBS when it gets turned on uh, because of the delay. And that when you're talking really, really sucks because there is some latency for me. It's about 350, 400 milliseconds, something like that. And so I add that delay for that um, in OBS. So I get um, as much sync as I can. I'm sure it could be better, but as much sync as I can. So I set up this. So that's my on or off button um, either. So this is my clean or not clean button, basically. Um, and then I have uh, all of these set up with their icons. These are multi action. So if we go to the system, 
Stream Deck, multi-action. So it is a multi-action, this one right here. Okay, it's not a multi-action switch or a random action. It's just multi-action. So if I click on the saw face here, it's the jigsaw face. You can, so you can see that it's multi-action. And I don't have any text for the title because uh, I can just base it on the old style icons, not these new style icons. I found these all on, there, on the website um, and Google. So if we look here, you can see that I just have two hotkey functions. All right. So um, the hotkey functions are from the system. So right, the robot uh, icon here, just for a hotkey. And you can see that for, for this one, it is hotkey to focus parallels. And that's what I called it. And there you go. There's the uh, control option command backslash. And then as soon as it does that into focus, it does the hotkey for my particular jigsaw um, voice, the, you know, game over voice, um, game over. So that's me trying to do it on, on normal. And so that's um, control option shift D. And that just brings it immediately up. So, I mean, if, if we did that again, um, I'm going to press it on my stream deck. So you'll see parallels come to focus. And it, there it goes. It took a second, but it, it, does, it does shift. And so there you go. Game over. The saw voice, the jigsaw voice. Huzzah. Okay. And you just do that for every single one, every single voice that you want. See, focus parallels, the hotkey there, um, control, <clears throat> control, option, command, backslash. And then evil is the control, option, shift. W. There you go. And that, as long as, you know, voice mod is on or off in OBS, your voice will change. I mean, of course, we have here myself and voice changer turned on over here. And I can confirm that it works. I confirmed that last weekend. So I wanted to, to share that. You can catch that um, video on um, on my Twitch channel, Cog Psych Prof. If you like this video, consider leaving a like. If you like this content, please consider subscribing. Uh, I am going to keep playing with this until... Uh, voice mod releases their mac app their native mac app but until then this is the workaround for getting um not only voice mod to work on your mac but how it works with keybinds triggers and if you've got it your stream deck thanks for watching please leave your comments suggestions and feedback down below bye